the solution that we were trying to bring was one that was focused largely on solving the issue of traffic. Yes, so we have about 50 drivers who crossed the one year mark, I think about two weeks ago. So we'd like to see ourselves as a tech platform, right? Right now we do ride hailing, but again, we see, you know, the opportunity to do even more. We're able to offer innovative services, even uh, micro loans, payments, you know, we are able to leverage on what we have as assets and offer those services to customers. So yes, I think the sky is, is our starting point. My name is Deji Adunto and I'm the CEO of Gokada. The solution that we were trying to bring was one that was focused largely on solving the issue of traffic. Traffic or congestion is, is something that destroys the productivity of the average consumer here in Lagos or the average commuter in Lagos. Having to spend hours on end, you know, sitting in traffic, moving across locations is, is something that affects the productivity of the average location. So when we were coming into the market, we asked ourselves, how do we move people around Lagos in a very, very safe way and quickly, right? And it was really a no-brainer because motorcycles indeed are the most functional form of transport in Lagos. They get you to your location 50% faster than other forms of transport. But the challenge we had at the time was we didn't know how to use the same motorbike. Um, motorcycles that were already banned by the government. You know, there was a lot of negative associations with these bikes. The drivers were unruly, the drivers were uncultured, they were untrained, there was no accountability. So there were these issues that we saw in the market and we felt, okay, if we were able to correct these issues and still leverage on those two-wheelers, you know, we are able to create a product where customers can actually move around quickly and then there's also the safety element to it. So that's why we came into the market as a very safe and quick form of transport. I would say we are getting there and there are several ways to approach this. Safety from the customer side has a lot of elements to it. The first thing we did was we decided to brand all our bikes. Now that gives or communicates accountability to the consumers, it, it communicates accountability to the market. Let people know that we are aware that this is our bike. The driver on this bike has been vetted, has been verified, and anything that happens, we know that person. And to bystanders or to passers-by, they know that, okay, this is a Gukada bike. So because of that level of accountability, we ensure that we do everything within our possible best to communicate that level of safety. So that's on one end. Um, now, in addition to that, you know, we also identified what was missing with the traditional Al-Qaeda. So um, in the enforcement of helmets, that was a big thing for us. We noticed that for traditional Al-Qaeda, a lot of them don't wear their helmets or the enforcement of helmets across you know, the traditional Al-Qaeda is not fully enforced. So we decided to enforce that. Um, and then what, what we found out was there was you know, the possibility that what happened in 2012 where people would think, oh, if I wear this helmet and someone else wears this helmet, oh, my destiny will be exchanged or I will disappear. You know, th that was a concern for us. So we decided to enforce the usage of disposable hairnets. So for every single ride on our platform, you know, a, a user would wear a disposable hairnet before they wear the helmet. So this has also increased the, the, the safety elements on our own bit. Another thing that we've done to sort of reinforce the safety element on our platform is we provide a comprehensive insurance package. So if anything were to happen to the bike or anything were to happen to the driver, we can lay a claim, you know. So that also gives an additional level of safety. And then on the driver end, we ensure that the right sets of drivers are the ones who are onboarded to our platform. So before a driver sits on our bike, he must have gone through a three-part assessment. He would have done his psychometric assessments. He would have done uh, an oral assessment. He would have done, you know, um, a riding assessment just to verify his skills. And then beyond that, the driver would have to provide two guarantors that we would verify. We would verify from their home address. We would verify from the office address. And we have a very um, reasonable criteria for the guarantors we use, almost like what the banks use. You know, you must be a working class professional. You must, if you have to be a civil servant, it has to be a, like a particular grade. You know, you probably, if you have um, a house, you know, you must be a landlord. So those things that sort of 
give credence to these drivers. You know, those are things that we, we ask for. And then um, with recruitment to the drivers as well, we place a very large emphasis on driver referral. So we would prioritize drivers who come from other drivers. So that way there's a, there's a link to them. It, it, it's hard for them to run away because there's always someone aside their guarantors who can sort of vouch for them or who can point us to their location. So those are some of the things that we've put in our, in our system to sort of reinforce you know, the safety narrative that we communicate to our customers. So we'd like to see ourselves as a tech platform, right? Right now we do ride healing, but again, we see you know, the opportunity to do even more. Um, as you can see from our backdrop, we have you know, the future of transportation, and that's just transportation. But beyond transportation, when we have you know, thousands of bikes, we have you know, different vehicles, we have thousands of customers, thousands of drivers, we're able to offer innovative services, even um, micro-loans, payments. You know, we are able to leverage on what we have as assets and offer those services to customers. So yes, I think the sky is, is our starting point.